If you are frustrating with your Windows 11 booting loop problem where your PC keeps restarting, then don't worry with that. I will give you all the solution in this video. So I'll cover all the solution to fix booting loop problem on your Windows 11 PC or laptop. So you just need to follow me. So at first you need to press and hold shift key from your keyboard and click on restart button on your PC. If you don't see any restart option or restart button, if you don't have, then press and hold power button until your PC restarts. Once you'll see the boot screen on your screen, you just need to release the shift key from your keyboard. And after that, you will get that repair screen. So after get this startup repair screen, you need to simply click on this advanced option. After that, click on troubleshoot option. Here you will get advanced option once again. So click on that. Now you just need to click on CMD means command prompt. So after open CMD, you just need to type few command over here, which I'll give you on my video description. So the first command is called boot rec space slash fix MBR. After that, press enter from your keyboard. And as you can see, it is showing the operation completed successfully. Now I'll type the next command, which is boot rec space slash fix boot. And as you can see, it is showing access is denied. So now what I have to do is I just need to type one command, which is called boot sect, then slash NT60, then slash, sorry, space SYS. After that, press enter. Now, as you can see, boot code was successfully updated. So now I will type the fix boot command once again and press enter. Now, as you can see, it is showing operation completed successfully. Now I'll type the next command which is called boot regs space slash scan ways. After type this command, press enter. Now it will take some time. So as you can see, the operation completed successfully. Now I'll type the next command which is called boot reg revealed bcd. Okay. After type this command, press enter. Once it will done, you just need to type exit to close this window. So I'll type exit and press enter. Now click on continue button to continue your Windows 11 operating system and check if you are getting booting loop uh, window or if your windows is starting normally or not. If it is not, then try my next method. Next, I will suggest you to repair EFI bootloader for that simply Go to advanced option, click on troubleshoot. After that, click on advanced option and click on CMD once again. Simply, you need to type disk part command. After type this part, you just need to press enter. Now type less this command. Now it will show you all your disk on your computer. So currently I have only one disk drive on my PC. So I'll select that this drive. So the command is called select disk zero. So zero is my uh, drive number. So now I'll type list partition command. So the command will be list uh, space partition. So now I have to find EA5 partition. In my case, it is partition one. As you can see, now I'll type the command is called list space volume. The easiest way to identify EFI partition is FAT32 file system, also 100 MB size. So now I'll select that EFI volume. So the command is called select space volume, then volume number. In my case, it is three as you can see. So I'll type over here three. Now press enter. Now I'll assign the dive letter for hidden EFI volume. So the command is called assign space letter space your volume letter. So in my case, I'll put over here G and then colon. After that, press enter. After this part is successfully assigned the drive letter, I will exit the disk part. So the command will be exit. Now press enter and it will exit from disk part. So now you need to go to the bootloader directory on the hidden volume, which I have created a drive letter. So the command will be cd space slash t space 
then your uh, volume directory so in my case it is g so i'll type g colon slash then under efi slash then go microsoft folder then you need to uh, press slash then under uh, microsoft you will get a boot folder so go under that folder so simply type and press enter so now as you can see i am under efi microsoft boot folder now at this point you need to run command to override the partition boot record which you can see on the screen all the commands one by one so if you'll see any access denied error that means you need to repair your computer using windows 11 installation media So if rebuilding MBR did not fix your issue, then I will suggest you to log in into save mode and run some command which I will give you on my video description. Simply you need to go to your recovery screen and click on troubleshoot and after that click on advanced option. Here you will get startup settings. So click on that. After that click on restart. After restart it will show you lots of options. Simply you need to press 5 key from your keyboard. To enable save mode with networking so i'll press here five for my keyboard so after login to your desktop go to your start window and type cmd now open command prompt and after open command prompt you just need to type few command over here which is sfc space slash scan now which is scanned for your protected system files on your computer and it will take some time you have to wait for a few seconds so if system file couldn't find any violation then run disim command to fix missing or corrupted files on your system so the command will be dism space slash online space slash cleanup minus image space slash scan health after that press enter from your keyboard now it will also take few uh, seconds or minutes. So after operation completed successfully, try to fix logical and physical errors on your Windows installation drive using check this command. For that you just need to type chk dsk space c in caps then colon space slash r then enter. After that press y and press enter now you need to restart your pc normally and it will automatically scan and check your c drive and if everything turns out well then your boot loop problem should be fixed sometimes latest windows update may cause various errors on your system to resolve this issue simply you need to uninstall all the latest quality and feature updates So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.